Welcome to AI Late to Class. Want to learn about camera movement for WAN 2.2? Well, stick around. I'm going to go through a few different ways to get dynamic cinema photography into your videos. I'll be going over WAN 2.2 fun control camera with shots like this. I'll also be going over fun in paint, first frame, last frame, and prompts that'll get you more camera movement. So let's get into it. This is the workflow for one fun control camera, the one I just did the zoom in effect on. Uh, everything else is pretty much as normal. Difference being is that you need the model that is control camera. So a high noise and a low noise. Um, I'm using the GGUF, so I got those from Quaintstack. And if you go over here, you can, if you haven't used Comfy before, you can get your VAE from here, your text encoder, your clip H. And you can click in here and choose your high noise model, one that's suitable. You can try a low one first, see how that goes. If that's doing all right on your computer, you can go upper size and download of course your low noise as well choose the same model in both and once you've got that um, you can check out the alibaba where it comes from in the first place right these are the guys that made it and you can have a look at those effects there but once you've got it all set up in there put everything where it needs to go you can have a look down here and the only real difference is the one camera embedding and I used a zoom in here. You've got a speed there. I tried it at two, it's too fast. So when you do increments, make it like 1.1 or something, 1.2 or below that 0.9, something like this. Here's your focal length of your camera. Don't really need to play with that unless you want to try something real dramatic. Here's the prompt, kangaroo standing in front of store window. You can try zoom in while kangaroo standing in front of store window. Just see which works best. And that's the result we get. So if you've used WAN 2.2 before and you've tried just zooming in, you'll know that it doesn't do it that great. Um, it can sometimes. It's all dependent on your prompt. But you can't just get zoom ins like that. At least with this you'll get your zoom in every time. Unfortunately, unlike 2.1, it gave you more features along here. Uh, so it's the arc left, arc right and that sort of thing as well as you could chain them so you could pull off another node there and get them to have one to have a zoom in and one to have a pan. We can't do that with this yet so hopefully there's an update where we can make changes to that. This is using the pan up from the one camera embedding and it was a little bit jolty when I first did it so I did add a rife node at the top there so that it adds in an extra frame. My pan left is only been a slight pan left. In this situation it sort of works. But I was actually wanting a lot more of a pan left than that. This is the anti-clockwise from the embedding. Came out sort of like a gonzo type shot. Very good. I am using uh, prompts that also help here. So if I go and look at that. And I've got camera pushes in for a close-up on space robot well on a planet surface. So just be descriptive in what you want. Before we get going in these other workflows, we need to generate a lot of shots. So this WAN 2.2 Orbit LoRa is what we need to go. So we download the LoRa and the files and versions. You um, have high noise, low noise. We just add them. I've just got your standard WAN. 2.2 workflow and you can get this in the comments and so we put it through there all but 180 degrees slowly around her as she folds her arms you don't have to have to fold the arms I've just got that in there um, everything else is the same as we usually used to and this is the output that we get tried it with another object and it does a good result each time so you could use this for like doing a slight arc shot. You can use the rife to slow it down. 
have a zoom in come in and then just use this to get that sort of side angle. Next we need to use the extract frames workflow. So we upload our video here and press run and that will generate all of our frames. Um, it'll do as many frames as what that video is. And once it's in here, we can actually just use our click on one of them and we can use our arrow keys to look through them. So if we're going for a running side shot, we can get right on the angle that we want. If we're wanting one from behind, we can just get her that angle so she can, can run into the uh, horizon. I'm in the WAN 2.2 in-paint workflow that I used in another video. So I won't go too much into detail, but I've just uploaded the first image and the ninth image from that extracted frames. And if I look over at my prompt up here, I've gotten shaky camera arcs around the woman as she folds her arms. And this is the result I got. She didn't fold her arms, but this in-painting workflow is good for certain camera movements. Here's another example of the in-paint workflow. I've got this man face on and then I've got him far back. Um, I did generate the further back one first and then I went into flux context and said, can I have a zoomed up image of this man's face? That was basically my prompt. You can use Quen Image Edit or probably better would be the Google Nano Banana. Um, my prompt up there was just slowly zoom out of the scene as the man is walking and he didn't end up walking but it did do quite a decent zoom well we're sticking with this guy i'll go over the first frame last frame workflow now i've gone over this in another tutorial but just to recap got a normal one workflow and we've just got this one first last frame node here so we've got the same image input and our prompt in here is slowly zoom into the man's face, make the camera wobble a bit as it's zooming in. And this is the result I got. However, I have added these clip visions here to the clip vision start image and the clip vision end image. And this has given a better result than what I did previous without them so it's worth giving a go. I thought I'd show you the workflow for one 2.1 vase with the same sort of concept start image end image uh, the prompt is pretty much the same sort of thing slowly zoom into the scene and this came out with a really great result as well. While we're in the vase 2.1, I thought I'd go back and try that arc with the folded arms as I did before, and this one did it exactly as I wanted. So the 2.1 is still better than the in-paint one 2.2, as far as following the prompt goes. Just before we go on to doing more generations with the normal one 2.2 and using prompts to get our camera moving, I just thought I'd bring this website up and have a look what's on here this will be in the comments so don't worry you can go and look at it i'm going to have to scroll right down here as this thing has so much stuff so this is what we want basic camera movement we can look on the samples here camera pushes in for close-up camera pulls back Camera pans to the right. Camera moves to the left. Bit different than panning. Camera tilts up. And down below is advanced camera movement. So they've got handheld and got a drone shot with a fly through tracking shot that's probably one you'd use a lot more than the others because we need to track the head and we'll be doing that and there's the arc shot so this one is within one without me using any LoRa rotation LoRa back in my normal one 2.2 workflow and we've got our prompt there camera pulls back as the woman walks forward is the result of that and it's doing what I want 
but now we're going to change the prompt up here and we're going to go over and we're going to have fast zoom up to the woman's face so when i've done that one the output is this so it does zoom up to the face but i don't know why it's doing that with her hands i wanted a closer zoom up to the face so i changed the prompt the camera has fast zoom up to the woman's face like a crash zoom and this one came out quite good Now I wanted to try a side shot, so I grabbed photo number 9, and I've changed my prompt up here to woman walks to the left, camera tracking her head. So this is a tracking shot. I wanted her to run, so I've changed this prompt here to dynamic shot, determine woman sprints to the left, catching the intensity of her movement as she rockets ultra-fast camera tracking her head now the problem with this is i haven't prompted her in a sprinting position she's still standing so when the video starts it's going to make her standing then run and this is what's happened right so let's have a look at this now i want to get her running towards us so we've got our other image now and i've kept the prompt almost the same just removed the bits about running to the left and here's our output just a note that there's a lot of lauras that were made for one 2.1 that will not work on one 2.2 so those camera movement ones are no longer there for 2.2 I've found this crash zoom one that might be useful for something, but there really isn't a lot of camera lures there at the moment. There probably will be later on, so it's worth checking. You know, you go up to the search engine, type in 1, 2.2, down the left-hand side, choose Laura from the filters, and that way you'll just find the lures that are associated with the 1, 2.2. Anyway, uh, that's enough for me today. We'll... See you in the next video, subscribe, like, and yeah, hope you make something good with this.